Quite like Kyle Field, and that is where we set up shop today. Texas A&M, Sam Houston, coming your way from Bryan College Station. Close to 100,000 folks will be jammed into this magnificent structure. Big ceremony here at Kyle Field last night. Congratulations to those guys. Second possession for Texas A&M. Haynes King will throw on the run near side, and they're going to say pass is caught at the 46-yard line. Good enough for 11 yards or 12 yards. And give him a little play fake. King steps up in the pocket, throws to the wide side of the field. That's Smith. He'll be inside Bearcat territory down to the 36-yard line. That's a gain of 17. He gets the job. And this will be from 52 yards. Kick is on the way, and it is no good. It's been out of the perimeter, but nothing inside so far. Here's King. He gets tripped up right around the 34-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Smith will go in motion. King coming near side. Has a man. Pass is caught there. Yul Keith Brown to the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies. Sixty-six yards. Dave, you'll see here, they come man to man as far as pressure, and he, he can't run with it. Yo Keith Brown just is too fast. Pressure coming off the edge, and there may be a flag down as AM was in the neutral zone. Yates turns the corner. They'll decline that, though, as he picks up the first down and gets it right to midfield. And look, it's second down and 10 as we start the second quarter. Pass is caught over the middle by the tight end, Jack Sherrard, and That'll be a first down inside the 25-yard line, and second down and seven. Just outside the red zone. Yates will keep it, stutter steps, throws, and it's batted in the air, and it's picked off. Down around the nine-yard line. Jordan Gilbert with the first inter interception of the year for Texas A&M. It was batted in the air by Andre White. Rushing, but he has elite skill level. Here's Haynes King, steps up in the pocket. Nice throw between two Cat defenders. They're going to say the catch is made by Anaya Smith at the 44-yard line of Sam Houston. If you're a quarterback, coach, or OC, you're telling them no, 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 no. I mean, because that is, that, that, that's on the money. He threw it to a spot, and Smith. First down and 10 out of the pistol formation. They'll fake it to A-chain. Going deep down the middle. This one is intercepted in the end zone. Taken by B.J. Foster, the Texas transfer. Looked like he was in trouble, but gets it out over the 10 to the 12-yard line. Give it everything, everything that they have on Saturdays. He says we got to play to the standard. Underneath route, caught there by Evan Stewart. The true freshman breaks a tackle. He is to the 40-yard line. You could probably tack on more as Adkins hits him late. But Evan Stewart, who came in to kick is on the way. And this one's a no-doubter. Booms it through the uprights. So from 40 yards out, Gabe Davis makes it a 10-point game with just under five minutes to go. Season camp over Keegan Shoemaker. He stays in at quarterback. Handoff goes to Desmond Jackson. Not much there. 10 0. First down and 10. 3.15 to go. This Aggie defense has been pretty good today against the run. They are trying to chase down Yates. He is ripped to the turf around the 17 yard line. Totally. So now it's third down for the Aggies. Over the middle, pass is caught. There's Smith, breaks a tackle. He will take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M, 63 big yards.
Well, Dave, we talked about explosive play right here. It's just a go route. I mean, and if they get mixed up on the back end, he is completely free, let go by, it looked like your nickel corner, Isaiah. Yates scrambling around, flags come down. Well, you're just asking your offensive line to do a, a lot of work to hold off that front four of Texas A&M. That'll be a loss of seven. We'll wait. So that'll do it for the first half. There's nothing working offensively for Sam Houston. Give a lot of that credit to the Texas A&M defense. A couple of big plays.